whatever rhetorical okay. power you have that it's coming from the feelings that you're creating in your audience? Or do you think it's actually coming from the validity of your arguments? So what are you saying, that our, our facts are creating feelings? Is that what, we're, what you're saying? No, it's, it's just this presentational just style you have. that seems to be tapping more into feelings than facts. Right, so I wonder, how do you reconcile that with what you said at the beginning? Well, we're talking about facts, so I don't, I don't really understand what you're saying. You're saying that the facts are making people emotional. Is that, is that What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Cocky Libra student tries to outsmart Charlie Kick. Feels. Okay, I call him Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. Let's go right to today's video. I've been pretty interested listening to your talk because you begin by saying that it's facts, not yeah. feelings that matter. Um, which... A anyway, interesting. But <laughs> um, listening to you talk, it seems that your rhetorical strategy is playing into people's emotions. I mean, you have a very angry style. And I'm not... I'm, I you should see when I really get pissed off. <laughs> um, this is us calm. And it doesn't, it doesn't seem as though you're presenting... You're presenting a long series of different arguments. Um, it almost reminded me of a stand-up show, right, where you go from bit to bit, which was entertaining. Um, but I guess my question is... Are you talking about, you say facts, not feelings, but do you think that your rhetorical, um, whatever rhetorical power you have, that it's coming from the feelings that you're creating in your audience? Or do you think it's actually coming from the validity of your arguments? So what are you saying, that our, our facts are creating feelings? Is that what, we're, what you're saying? No, it's, it's just this presentational just style you have. that seems to be tapping more into feelings than facts. Right, so I wonder how do you reconcile that with what you said at the beginning? Well, we're talking about facts, so I don't, I don't really understand what you're saying. You're saying that the facts are making people emotional. Is that, is that the well, argument? Yeah, I mean, so I look. I don't really get what he's saying. I mean, I, I hope you, some people laughed and some people thought about issues a little differently, but that's the key thing. If thinking is your, if thinking is the gateway to feelings, then so be it. However, we used a lot of facts. She talked about black single motherhood. We talked about the de deterioration of the inner cities. I just rattled off a bunch of facts about the southern border, whether it be crime or drugs or illegal, you know, illegal immigrants coming in this country. Everything we have has a statistical backing and a logical reason behind it. So when we say facts over feelings and you're creating and sculpting public policy, we take a step back and we do critical thinking and reflection based on logical history perspective and good ideas, timeless ideas that can stand the test of time and natural rights and respect for the individual. Now, whether people find that funny or entertaining, or when you play into it a little bit, I'm glad you find it entertaining. entertaining. That's good. I, because it's good we're packing facts audiences, are and obviously this is great. it's working. Yeah, and, and, and that's, that's really the thing. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter if it causes excitement, but if we're saying is true and it's verified by facts, we're not up here talking about our feelings. I'm not selling a sob story here. Yeah. I'm, I'm backing, I'm giving you evidence for why I believe what I believe, why we believe all of these things behind us. Um, so I, I, I guess your question is really to the audience. You're asking them why they're getting excited. Maybe because it's the first time that they're seeing their ideas reflected on campus. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. This student right here, he's really cocky. He's like, like a snake. <laughs> he's really, really cocky. He's trying to twist Charlie and kind of always weights against him. And seeing that using feelings to manipulate the audience, which is not so. Which is not so. Um, Charlie and Khan is always keep on stating facts. I've watched, I can't count how many of the videos I've actually um, watched, but it's a lot. Um, and also, I've, I'm following Charlie, I'm following Charlie Kick on my Instagram page. I have seen a lot about what he's seen, and they are all proven as facts. If errors comes up, what they are saying, sometimes they make errors. True, there, there are errors. They might say a fact, but they mistakenly see something that they shouldn't say. They'll, they'll, they'll correct it and say, oh, I'm sorry, this is what I meant. But they're not using feelings to manipulate the audience to believe what they're saying is true. They're stating facts. You could go Google it yourself. Everyone have a cell phone in this generation. You could go Google it yourself and find out if what they're saying is true or is, or is wrong. They have facts and start to prove whatever they're saying is true. That student right there is very cocky and very manipulative. His friends should be should should watch out for him. They should be very cautious because that guy can turn your weights around and use it against you. But the entire video, I love how Charlie, I love how Charlie stand out and explain it clear for the boy to understand it for the students to get a clear picture of it. Maybe probably he's confusing himself and also can always kind of like stand out for um. 
put it straight to the students for him to understand clearly. This entire video was amazing to watch, and this student right here is really cocky. It's, it's corny, if I would say. It's very corny. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, just in my bed. I got scales on.